what in the world is going on with Jaguars running back James Robinson? We're going to tackle that question today here on Duval Daily. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for being here. James Robinson, no carries, did have one, but it was negated by penalty. One target in the passing game, very few snaps in the Jaguars' Week 7 loss to the Giants on Sunday. James Robinson, a former 1,000-yard back, the player who was probably the most consistent offensive player overall for the Jaguars over his first two years in the league, had a nice start to the 2022 season as well, co-starter with Travis Etienne. He hasn't been getting the ball, and that was never more apparent than in this Week 7 loss to the Giants, where again, no carries, no catches, very few snaps for James Robinson in his third year in the league, former undrafted free agent, has been a stalwart for the Jaguars throughout his young career. Travis Etienne appears to have succeeded him as, as the top back in this backfield. He's getting most of the run. He is uh, he's an explosive young running back, and you can see why the Jaguars want to get him on the field. He's been averaging over seven yards per carry the last three weeks. He's been really getting after it. In fact, he's at eight yards per carry over the last three contests. But does that mean James Robinson shouldn't be featured at all? I wouldn't say so. I think James Robinson is absolutely a back, regardless of your running back situation, um, that needs to be featured, that needs to get the ball. And now that doesn't mean he needs to get more carries or more touches than Travis Etienne, but James Robinson is a really good short yardage back. He's a very efficient back that has good vision, contact balance. He can turn out tough yards for you. I think you need the element of James Robinson in your offense if you've got him on your roster. I think there's no doubt about that. And the Jaguars are a team under Doug Peterson that are going to pass the ball more than they're going to run the ball. I'm aware of that. But I think you need to see some more balance here. I think with with a defense that struggles late in games because they're, they're gassed, because the Jaguars are not maintaining possession of the ball, time of possession in favor of the opponents, I think that uh, running the ball in certain situations makes a lot more sense than throwing it. And I think the Jaguars have gotten too pass happy. They have gotten away from, in my opinion, James Robinson is their second best offensive weapon right now behind Travis Etienne. And he's probably their most consistent offensive weapon. Uh, So what's going on? Doug Peterson mentioned after the game uh, that the team needs to evaluate him to see where he's at physically and health-wise and all of that. It was a very vague answer when he was asked about where James Robinson was in this contest. And I, I think that's because at this point, they're, they're just not really sure how to get him on the field and how to give him the ball when they're trying to pass the ball so much, A, and B, they're wanting to get it to Travis Etienne when they are handing the ball off because he's an explosive big play threat. So how do you um, manage this running back situation? I'm not sure what you're going to do. Maybe James Robinson is dealing with some lingering issues. Maybe getting back from the Achilles so quickly uh, has made it difficult for Robinson to sustain here as we get into the middle of the 2022 season. But uh, I'm not sure. There was nothing on the injury report about James Robinson's health. So what's going on here? Are the Jaguars simply just phasing him out? We've got some folks talking about should the Jaguars trade James Robinson? Well, I think from James Robinson's perspective, he absolutely deserves to be touching the football, regardless of what team he's on. So if I was him, I probably would be looking to get out of Jacksonville or at least have some clarity on what my role is going to be moving forward because he's a talented back that deserves the football. But I'd also I'd also say from a Jaguars perspective, what is the incentive to trade James Robinson? Um, I'm not sure at this point because when you look at what former undrafted free agent running backs who are um, you know, not their feature back on their team anymore, what are they fetching? I know James Robinson's talented. I know the league realizes that James Robinson is a talented running back. But what is that going to fetch you? He's in the final year of his rookie deal. He will be a restricted free agent following the 2022 NFL season. So... What are, you, what are you going to trade for him if you're if you're another team out there trying to get a running back? You're not going to give up more than a mid to late day three pick. 
I think you'd probably be looking at a sixth or seventh round pick in exchange for James Robinson. And I'm sorry, I just don't think that that is good value if you're the Jaguars. Sucks for James Robinson, but um, I'm not sure that he's going anywhere. The Jaguars could swing him for for a, a mid to late day three pick like I mentioned. I don't think that that's good value, personally. But perhaps the Jaguars would look at it as good value. I'm not sure how they would how they would um, value him in, in a trade, and if they even want to trade him. It's really unclear right now. Doug Peterson was incredibly vague after the game. His role is clearly diminishing in favor of Travis Etienne. So what are the Jaguars doing here? Uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a topic over the next several days, over the coming weeks. What are the Jaguars doing? And if they are looking to trade. James Robinson, they would need to get that done in the next week. The NFL trade deadline is November 1st this year. So um, we're going to see how it all plays out. I do feel for James Robinson, who's been such a hard worker, busted his ass to get back from the Achilles injury that he suffered late in December. And now you look at his situation, he's not even touching the football. Is it health? Is it just simply wanting to get Travis Etienne in the ball more. Is it Doug Peterson trying to throw the ball just a little bit too much? I think it could be a combination of all those things. We'll find out here over the coming days and weeks. But thank you so much for tuning in, Duval. I'd like to remind you to follow me on Twitter at Jordan DeLugo, Generation Jaguar at Generation Jag. Please hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. You can also hit the notification bell so you don't miss a show on here. If you want to support the channel further, you can become a channel member, get you, get you some cool perks. You can also check out genjag.com, pick up some new Duval gear. Have a good Monday, Duval.